provides some very difficult boarding instructions when the boat reaches the same speed as the dock. Get in. <laughs> All right, come on board, folks. Come on board. Actually, come on excited because, well, you'll be leaving board. Hey, don't cross those crates, you dirty crate crosser. All right, looks like we are going into the jungle fully loaded today. Yeah, my favorite way to see the jungle is loaded. <laughs> With people. With people. All right, just a few more bodies will be underwater. I mean underway, underway. Yeah, that's a Freudian slip where you say one thing, but you mean a mother. Have a seat in the back, bend to the knees, gravity does the rest. All right. All right. Have a seat there. Right there, sweetheart. That's our sacrificial altar. I'll tell you all about it when we get to the volcano. <laughs> all right, and we are off like Ashley Simpson singing a cappella. Everyone raise your hand. Wave goodbye to those beautiful people on the dock. All right, now wave goodbye to the ugly ones. They helped you get in. That was nice of them, wasn't it? All right, now how many of you folks woke up today and said, Jungle Cruise, I gotta do it? Yeah, me too. Then I banged my head against the wall for 30 minutes. Yeah? All right. My name's Chris. For the next three weeks, I'll be your jungle skipper, alligator wrestler, lion tamer, snake charmer, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, you're a swimming instructor. Now, we begin here in the Amazon where things are larger than life. Check out on either side these large wing margarine flies. Now, I know what you're thinking. I can't believe it's not butter. That's right. These large wing margarine flies have a wingspan that goes from 12 inches all the way up to a whopping one foot. Their, their scientific name is Plasticus Mechanicus. Now, coming up on the left side is the world-famous Inspiration Falls. But, you know, every time I say that, my crew asks me in unison, Why do you call it Inspiration Falls? Why do you call it Inspiration Falls? And sometimes it's just the family up front. But I tell them anyway, it's because they say if you stare at it long enough and hard enough, well, it always, always, always inspires you to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh. Everybody say, ah. Everybody say Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah, I love Cheetos. All right, now we are heading into the Congo where I took the liberty of setting up a pygmy welcoming party. So if you don't mind, we're going to stop up and, oh no, kind of looks like a dead party. That does not look like a good place to be headed. Keep those eyes peeled, folks, because I don't know what could have scared those pygmies off. Oh, it's over there. Oh, gosh, look out. That's a big snake. You know, I always forget the name of it, though. It begins with a P. Help me out. Python, no, it's plastic, but good try. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop up at my camp. Oh, no. You know, I tell my family to break camp, and they take me a little too serious. There's my mother-in-law in the back shooting her mouth off, as always. You know, I couldn't get my Jeep started this morning, but looks like they got it to turn over. <laughs> Now we are heading into the Nile River, folks, and you know they say it goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. And that joke's never funny. If you don't believe me, well, you're in denial. Okay, we're coming up on the African belt. We've got plenty of animals to see, like those lovely giraffe in the back, a couple of zebra, some of my ex-girlfriends on that tree over there. And look at that, folks. It's some 1971 Impalas. Classic. Yeah. And over there, kids, is the first law of the jungle. Don't be a zebra. I'm just kidding. That's the original Hard Rock Cafe. They're having their zebra just like they like it on the rocks. Hey, look at that. That's a bunch of my buddies. You know, they've been touring the country with their traveling band, and they've been looking for a new trumpet player, but it looks like they found themselves a whole horn section. Okay, now be on the lookout, folks, because, well, let me tell you, we're heading into crocodile country, and these crocodiles could be just about anywhere. Hey, or they could be right there, the same place they've been for 35 years. Yeah, that one on the left is old Smiley, and that's his girlfriend, Ginger. Now, don't worry, Smiley doesn't bite, but watch out, because, well, Ginger snaps. Yeah, she's one tough cookie. And you're one tough crab. Oh, no. It's a plane crash. He's right. You know what a plane crash means. Hippos. Yeah, now watch out, because they say if these hippos are wiggling their ears and blowing bubbles, they're planning to charge the boat. But lucky for you, I only take cash. <laughs> now these two look like some hungry, hungry hippos, so if anyone looks like a white marble, now would be a good time to hide. <laughs> Stay very quiet. Okay, lucky for us, I got a gun. Maybe I can scare them off. Close your ears, kids. Oh, I got a gun! Look out! <laughs> yeah, they're not too smart. Oh, no, we are not out of the woods yet. It's the natives. You know, whenever they're dancing like that, it only means one of two things. Either they're planning an attack, or they lost the key to the men's bathroom again. 
Now let me tell you folks, these natives are very predictable. They've sunk five of my boats this week already. But I know where they're coming from. They always come from the right side behind the bushes there. And they're going to throw spears, so look out, okay? Oh gosh, they're coming from that side. Everybody get down, get down. Look out, get down, get down. Don't worry about looking stupid. I'm doing that for you. And this kid and that kid right there. <laughs> All right, have those cameras ready, folks. This is the moment you've been waiting for, the eighth wonder of the world. It's the backside of water. Yeah, all right, don't try that at home. You'll hit your head on the back of the sink, kind of. <laughs> ah, look at that. We skipped continents again, and we are in the heart of Cambodia in the Mekong River. Yeah, it looks like we got company. Keep those arms inside. They're always looking for a handout. I had some teachers last week that didn't believe me. Now they're teaching shorthand. <laughs> I don't know about this temple, though. What do you think, kids? Could lead to danger. Could lead to excitement. Who am I kidding? It's Disney. It's probably a gift shop. <laughs> this might be a bit painful. It looks like a root canal. There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are rowing. <laughs> All right, we made it through, and look at that. Luck would have it stumbled upon the Republican National Convention. Now, feel free to take as many pictures as you like. They've all got their trunks on today. Yeah, these little squirts over here are taking a bath, and that's Big Shot in the back taking a shower. Now, you might think that's water coming out of their trunks, but guess what? <laughs> well, it's not. Uh -oh. Looks like we got a little bit of a backup, so now I just got to stall for time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you folks have been great so far. If you thought I was funny, I'll be at the Pleasure Island Comedy Club tonight and tomorrow night in the men's bathroom handing out paper towels. <laughs> At least she thinks I'm funny. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, this is my favorite part of the trip, though, folks. This is where I get the opportunity to point out all my favorite plant life in the jungle. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you kids, okay? Stay in school. Stay in school. Five years of college and a degree in business management, and you can drive a boat in circles for a mouse. <laughs> Let me just tell you, my parents are so proud of my brother. Yeah, he became a doctor. I just didn't have the patience. I'm sorry for the crummy material. You know, the use you could have done was butter me up. I thought I was on a roll, but I'm working for sourdough here. No? Yeah, I get my sense of humor from my parents. My father's Danish. My mother was French bread. My sister's a Pop-Tart. More time to kill. I might as well tell you about the Jungle Skipper rap group. That's right, all of us skippers banded together, recorded a rap album, and it's coming out next month. So here's a small sampling. Yo. It's a work in progress. It's getting there. Yeah. You know, before this, I used to work at an orange juice factory, but I got canned because I couldn't concentrate. Yeah, my boss tried to beat the pulp out of me. It wasn't good. Well, I guess it's time for some jokes, right? Two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. <laughs> hey, look at that. Coming up on the left side, it's that wonderful Chief Name. Chief Name is our head salesman in the jungle, but you know, folks, lately sales have been shrinking. Today he's having a special, though. Two of his heads for one of yours. Either way you slice it or dice it, you'll always come out ahead. He just got here a few minutes ago. He was at his part-time job. Yeah, hey, if you didn't find this funny, which were like the couple of you in the back who just stared at me for ten minutes, check out the Hall of Presidents. There's no jokes there. Yeah. I heard they have parties, too. Two of them. They used to have three, but one of them wigged out. Okay, now as we pull into the dock, it's time for those safety instructions because things do get a bit confusing up ahead. Okay, now as you can see, folks... There is a dock on the left as well as a dock on the right. Don't let it fool you. We call it a paradox. Now, those two people helping out the boat, we call a paradox. So be nice to them, okay? Now, a lot of people always ask me, hey, Chris, how many people work at Disney World? And if you look over at the box over there, I usually say about two out of seven. <laughs> well, thank you, folks. Thanks for riding today, and thanks for laughing. For those of you who just stared at me awkwardly for ten minutes, thanks for leaving. <laughs> Yeah. When you exit out the boat, if your shoes start to fill with water, you probably got out on the wrong side. Hop back in and try it again, okay? Now, when we pull in, make sure you keep your arms inside the boat because I don't want you to experience any unnecessary peer pressure. That would be bad. Right, now it's time for our return to civilization and my attempt to dock this boat. If you had fun today, my name's Chris, and this has been the world-famous Jungle Cruise. If you didn't have fun, my name's Erica, and this has been Soren. <laughs>
Now I'm going to leave you folks with one last piece of advice. It's the same thing my parents told me on my 18th birthday. Chris, get your things and get out. The free ride is over. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's my southern hospitality? Hey, I'm from New Jersey. Get out.